Hello, and welcome to what is now the finale of Cars Rosorama. And that, of course, is ultimately going to be the bonus content for what will officially be the 70th and final episode of Cars Rosorama before I move on with to game number 11. The game which shall officially make me a decennium because it basically means I've now completed 10 games. So, let's show off the bonus content. And we've also got the photo gallery. So, in terms of artwork, we basically get the looks of the characters. So obviously, right there of course, we've got Bubba. And, you know, that's actually not bad for customizable modicums on McQueen. That's actually not bad. And we also get the bridge. And we uh, get some interesting designs here. No doubt in saying, of course, some of them were probably made with uh, CGI, you know, computer-generated imagery. That's actually not bad for Chick. We also got the Rust Bucket leaderboard. And got the Bulldozer. Whoever the fuck that guy is from Tokyo Mater, couldn't tell you which one. And we also get story mode, apparently. Which is, uh, interesting. So we got lightning with the, uh, rockets on his top, and also with the buck teeth. Got another one of Chick. This, I think, is just meant to be an engine shop, although it could very well be a factory because it says Motoko. And I'm going to assume these are probably the ideas they had for uh, the game, but didn't quite make it into the game. Got the grandstands there. And we've also got something for Rust Bucket, and wow, that's actually not a bad design. Although I'm going to assume these were basically the things they were using for the development of the game, and most of those ideas didn't necessarily make it into the final product. And apparently that's the entrance to the Radiator Springs Speedway. I don't know what that is. We also get Doc Hudson as the crew chief, more or less as I would have expected, and yeah, that's basically all of the artwork. So, now we get to show off the photo gallery. And to see all eight of the images I took. Including the most recent one, which, personally, I think is the best. Don't tap me. And... I think as far as I know, that's it. Okay. So that is it for the bonus content. It is shorter than what many of you would probably be uh, expecting. But anyways... There we go. That was Cars Racerama. And all I'm going to do now is just head over to the change profile screen just to prove, of course, that I have 100%. Alright. So. There we go. 100% complete in game number 10, and also a total of 1,512,146 points to add on as a bonus. So there we go. The Rama game is done, and if Disney really were wanting to essentially give me a challenger towards the 
original Cars video game, which personally, I do think, is the best game in the series. Then they've certainly done it with this one. But overall, this game, it's a definite improvement over the predecessor Mater National Championship, because, well, that did have pretty much a plethora of problems which would more or less rank it quite lowly compared to uh, the original game and this game. And overall, this game is actually pretty good, to say the least. And to anyone who is asking which game I prefer, well, I still prefer the original game more just because they had the usage of the uh, film cast to basically do the voices of the characters and well, even though I really don't mind Keith Ferguson doing the voice of Lightning for most of these video games, I still think Owen Wilson essentially does a better job. It's also because Owen Wilson is much more well known. And also because, well, he's been involved in many more film roles. And I honestly don't know what Keith Ferguson does, to be completely honest, besides do the voice of Lightning. But yes. In terms of recommending if you should buy this game, I would say yes. You absolutely need to buy this fucking game for the PlayStation 3. This really is a great game. And also furthermore, just to prove a point... Oh, hold up. Yes. I also have 100% in the trophy collection. Which, oddly enough, is one thing I've never done in a video game before until now. Because I decided I was stubborn enough to... Because I decided I was actually stubborn enough to do this. So we've got all 21 trophies, which we can get for the PlayStation 3 version, and also this one just proves it. So we officially have all 21 trophies, and if you would account for the Trophy Collector, which apparently is something else we get, that proves, of course, that we have all 22 trophies. And the data was claimed only yesterday, because today is Saturday. But yeah, there we go, that's it, this game is done, and for once in my life I'm actually proud of myself knowing that I am now officially a decennium because I have now completed 10 games on my channel. Since I rebooted in September of 2020, this is quite an astonishment to me personally. Although I guess it was more or less expected once I played through the Cars series, because arguably this is the game. It is basically the Cars series that put my channel on the map. But yeah, on the 29th of January 2022, I am officially now a decennium on YouTube. And so, all I can really say now is, thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys and gals in game number 11, when exactly, and whenever exactly I decide to do that. Which hopefully won't be too long, because, well, it's almost February already, and that is quite scary in some cases, but yeah. That'll do it for Cars Racerama. This game is done, and now it's on to the next one. I'm Jordan Mustang87, saying thanks for watching, guys and gals, and yeah. See you in game number 11. Okay, bye.